They say tragic events can leave spirits on earth and passionate loves are often ends in tragedy. They also say unfinished business can leave souls wandering the earth. How often have we felt a romance end without closure? These stories are accounts of true events where the spirits still roam this earth looking for the lost love to this very day. The Bride on the Bridge In Stowe, Fermont lies a covered bridge they call Emily's Bridge. There are several versions of Emily's sad tale. Some versions say that Emily and her boyfriend were meeting at the bridge to elope since her parents did not approve. He never came and she hung herself from a rafter. Another version says Emily was left at the wedding altar. She hopped on a carriage to find her love. When she reached the bridge, one of the horses was startled and she died in an accident. Some versions say she was killed by runaway horses on the way to her wedding. Whatever way you put it, Emily reached a tragic fate. Visitors to the bridge have reported scratch marks on their cars and bodies and strange noises, footsteps, ropes tightening and a girl screaming. If you park your car on the bridge, you might hear banging on the car or her body's feet dragging on the car's roof. A deathly love triangle. The Castillo de San Marcos in St. Augustine, Florida is the oldest masonry fort in the United States. The site itself is dripping with paranormal activity, but today we focus on the affair that led to murder. In 1784, Colonel Garcia Marti brought his young wife Dolores to the fort. He wasn't the most devoted husband and often ignored his wife, thus she found other ways to spend her time. She began an affair with her husband's assistant, Captain Manuel Abella. Dolores wore a very unique perfume which Garcia smelt on Manuel one day. Shortly after, Dolores and Manuel went missing. Garcia told everyone that when Dolores had returned to Spain and that Manuel had a special assignment in Cuba. About 50 years or so later, a hidden room was found in the dungeon behind a brick wall. The remains of a woman and a man were found, some versions say chained to the wall, some say in a pile of ashes. Sightings of a woman with a white dress have been reported on the site. Could it be Dolores? Forbidden Love Minnie Key was the 15-year-old daughter of James and Mary Ann Key. They lived in Forrester, Michigan, so they often saw boats coming in and out of town. Minnie fell in love with a sailor and her parents disapproved of this crush. One day, word came to the town that his boat had sunk. Minnie was quite distraught, especially since her parents had forbidden her to say goodbye when he last left. Sometime after, she was babysitting her infant brother for her parents. She left her house and walked towards the waterfront. People near the town inn, the Tanner House, waved as she walked by. Suddenly, their friendly faces turned to faces of horror as she walked into the lake. Legend says she still walks the beach, waiting for her sailor to return. More frightening version says she lures young women towards the water and towards their deaths. The Railway Ghost An eerie ghost dressed in all black, garments of funeral quality, was once said to haunt a stretch of railway line running from London to Cardiff during the early 20th century. The woman was said to have been a bride-to-be, whose dream never come true, for her husband was tragically killed after he stuck his head out of the train window whilst travelling with her. He was decapitated. The legend has it that the woman reached London, cradling the headless body of the man she was to marry. It is said that she went completely insane, as the love dripped from his lifeless body, and so in the ethereal void, she continues to make that journey, still pining for a love that was not to be.